Hey, 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 how y'all doing? All right, so let's see who we got on here. I can't see who's on uh, YouTube yet. Hey, Chandra, now I can see you. Happy Valentine's Day. That's what I said. I'm like, I got to get on here so I can spend some time with my loves. Y'all know y'all the love of my life. I ain't got nobody else. <laughs> Uh, I don't normally um, celebrate Valentine's Day, but I did want to check in with you guys. Hey, Jarrell. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, God chose me. He did. He, cho he chose me. He really did, you guys. All right. So we are coming in here. I am trying to figure out. Mm, let me see. Okay. Let me see what I'm doing. So I kind of wanted to go over. I hope I didn't close. There we go. So I kind of wanted to go over. Um, check in with you guys, of course. And then go over what we have been doing in y'all know I'm really into the 29 day accelerator program and we are on day 14 is Valentine's day the 14th we're on day 14 okay all right so let me check in with everybody to see how everybody's doing how's everybody hey Vanessa Good evening. Hey, Leslie. Happy Valentine's Day. Who we got over here? Hey, Jerry. Hi, BJ. Hey, Miss Burke. I didn't get that. How are you? Again? I think my phone is freaking out. Hold on just a second. Is that my phone? Sorry, I don't understand. Oh, it's my watch. Sorry, y'all. My watch is going crazy. She talking about she don't understand. Okay. Hey, Krista. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I went ahead. I wasn't supposed to come home until tomorrow, but I went ahead and changed my flight. Let me tell you what exactly happened. I didn't exactly change my flight. <laughs> I did not know that if you don't, catch a flight somewhere on uh what do you call it uh a round trip flight that they cancel your whole flight did y'all know that did anybody know that because i'm tripping i i'm telling you i have flew everywhere just about and i never knew that if you don't get on the flight going somewhere then they cancel your flight coming back how many of y'all knew that? Yeah, that's what I said. I think I did that before. And no, American Airlines canceled my flight. Because as you guys, well, I don't know. Some of you may not know. I ended up, oh, T said, uh, hey, Taylor said it happened to her before she was pissed. I was pissed too. Good thing I checked because I'm thinking I got a flight home. No, American Airlines, they canceled my whole flight. Y'all need to put hashtag American Airlines ain't right. <laughs> they canceled my flight and told me, basically, you got to buy another flight. I didn't get a credit or anything. Yeah, Jay, I thought that was weird too. But I went to the Super Bowl, you guys. Go Chiefs, go Chiefs. I went to the Super Bowl. So I ended up driving to Vegas from Phoenix. It's not that long of a drive. And so I had to take a flight from Phoenix to my next destination, which was Oklahoma City. Well, because I did not fly from Phoenix to Oklahoma City, they canceled my round trip back to Phoenix from Oklahoma City. Yeah. 
So I didn't, I didn't even know. I was looking at something. I was like, hold on, where's my ticket at? So I call in. I found out that my ticket's been canceled. So I said, you know what? Whatever. I booked this flight. So I was supposed to come home tomorrow. But because I had finished everything I had to do and my kids wanted me home. So I went ahead and booked a flight for today. So today I was running. I got off the plane, got my luggage, got in the car with my son, drove home, came up to be with you guys, okay? Because y'all are my Valentines. <laughs> I said all that to say. <laughs> yes. Hey, Rochelle Holmes. <laughs> but yeah, that was, it was really weird to me. Like, I was like, what the heck is going on? But it is what it is. I had enough points. So that's what the lady said. She was like, well, you got, <laughs> I had a, I have a hundred thousand at some point. She was like, you might as well just use your points. Like it was like 14,000 points for me to get home. So I said, okay. So we use my points. Yeah, Chandra, Chandra talking about, wait, what? Yeah, if you don't fly that first leg, they cancel your whole flight. I don't know if every airline, but American Airlines literally just did that to me. And I had to rebook a new flight. They wouldn't give me credit or nothing. So yeah, they didn't give me no money back or nothing. No credit, no, no travel credit, nothing. She said, you lose it. That's exactly what she told me. She said, if you don't do, if you don't get on that flight, you lose your entire flight. So I lost it. That's crazy. So if you on here and you work for American Airlines, y'all better find me some credit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, Maurice. Hey, millionaire mommy. How you doing? Hey, Heather. Hey, Yvonne. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thanks. They said we appreciate you. But yeah, so trying to drink my water. I'm trying to, y'all know I don't too much get upset over anything. So I was just like, it is what it is. God bless me with points. I use the points. Well, thank you for being with us. Yes, because y'all are my Valentine's. Everybody, I'm, I'm still, because I got people that want to see me on Instagram, so I still got my Instagram open, but I appreciate those of you who have followed me and subscribed on YouTube. I appreciate that. So yeah, so we are 14 days in, 14 days on the 29-day accelerator program, you guys, and I am just like amazed at all the work that everybody is doing inside of this, uh, the accelerator program. So tonight we're going to try to, um, I've been getting a lot of people booking calls with me. I don't know what's going on around the United States with group homes, but you know, it had tapered off a little bit where I was getting a couple of calls, you know, a day. Now it shot right back up. Now I'm getting like a bunch of calls, people booking calls, people reaching out, people. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy, y'all. <laughs> I got stuff going on. I'm going to try to pin it, Krista. I'm going to try to pin it. Thank you, Krista. Hey, Rochelle. Hey, Nicole. So yeah, so I don't know what's going on, but hey, I'm here for it. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to, you know, share as much information as I can. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes. So, like I said, things that we are going over in the 29-day accelerator. Let's see. This booked and busy. Let's get this bread. <laughs> hey, Jay. Yes, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, so things that we've been going over these last seven days, I like to keep you guys updated um, with the 29 day accelerator. 
Uh, we have went over, let's see. Y'all, I told y'all I just walked in the house and got on the Zoom. So I'm getting it together. So understand. Nope, nope, nope. Uh-uh. I'm not doing that. I'm on the wrong one. There we go. All right. I like to keep notes, y'all, because y'all know I will get distracted by all these Valentine's Day and all of that, <laughs> and I will lose my train of thought. So I need to keep notes. So I'm reading my notes. Hey, Dr. Myrie, this is the best part of my week. Oh, Narda, you're so sweet. She's so sweet. She said this is the best part of her week. Well, happy Valentine's Day because y'all my Valentine's. Let me give y'all, let me give y'all uh, a Valentine's Day look. Y'all my Valentine's Day loves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me just take a drink of water. I got it pulled up. I didn't have no water on the plane. I actually had a couple of drinks. <laughs> It was a lot of turbulence. And my my go-to drink on planes is Tito and cranberry juice. So I had to have a couple of those. It it was really a lot of turbulence. And so I was just like, let me have me a couple of drinks to calm me down. And I was spending Valentine's Day with myself. So, you know. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> y'all see how I get distracted? All right, so we went over, I guess, day eight, because right now we're on day 14. And so we're going to go back a little bit, because the last time I saw you guys and I talked to you guys, we was on day seven. All right, so now we are on day 14. Day eight was care techniques. So we talked about that. We talked about community engagement strategies, community engagement strategies. I love it because in Oklahoma City, I went to a tiny home community called Pivot and their community engagement is unbelievable. Like I learned tips on how to engage my community. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> Chandra, don't be throwing me y'all. Chandra talk about I'm a Tito person. Hey. <laughs> yes, Tito and cranberry juice. That's my go-to travel drink. But anyway, <laughs> so this group in Oklahoma City has a lot of community engagement. Their community gets involved. And that's what you need to have uh, or strive to have with your group home. If you get the community involved, the community will help and support you, especially if you're a nonprofit. You definitely need to have in community engagement because as a nonprofit, you will be getting donations and things like that. You will be uh, you know, soliciting people to help support your nonprofit. Your board needs to be on board with raising money for your nonprofit. Yes, you need to have a board for your nonprofit. But all of that, I feel like, is a part of community engagement, okay? So that is something that you need to strive to do. Um, share methods within, if you're in the 29-Day Accelerator Program, I suggest you read everyone's uh, topic on community engagement, which was day nine. I suggest you read it so you can have ideas that you can jot down on ways that you can get the community involved. You know, so things that I do, I have my people go volunteer in like um, community centers or um, the food pantries and things like that. And it gets the community involved because a lot of times if they go volunteer or they serve meals to homeless or anything like that, they end up bringing food back, which helps me, which helps them because they have excess food and it helps me with my grocery bill. 
So that's one way that you can have community uh, engagement, community involvement in your business. So I would just suggest, like I said, if you have a team, you need to be, um, I just jumped right in, then I <laughs> went from Tito's and Cranberry to, I just thought about it. Wow. But anyway, that is what you need to do. Jay said, Dr. Mari, do you plan on coming to Chicago? Um, not until it's warm. <laughs> it is too cold in Chicago. Oklahoma was cold enough. Oh my God. It was like 48 degrees the first day. It was snow on the ground when I got there. I don't like that, but I went there for a reason and I did it, but it was cold. So Chicago, not right now, maybe later when it's nice outside. Oh, has it been nice? Oh my goodness. Well, well, awesome. Nice to me is like 70 degrees and no snow and no wind and the sun shining. So if it's been like that, then maybe I'll consider it. No, because I'll show up in Chicago and then it'll be snowing and cold. <laughs> my, oh, okay. So Krista's posting that I have a, a Valentine's Day special. Krista, we doing all that? Krista's on Instagram, you guys. My team done lost their mind. Okay, Valentine's Day special is a thousand off the one year mentorship, five hundred off the ninety day mentorship, and fourteen percent off the master class. Okay, what about the um, the playbook? Are we doing fourteen percent off the playbook? Chris, Krista Lamb. What y'all doing? A thousand off? I mean, I love them, but do I love them that much? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I do. I do. I do. Yes. Okay. So y'all heard that. Valentine's Day special. Krista just posted it. A thousand off the one year mentorship, 500 off the 90 day mentorship. All right. So those of you who have been thinking about the mentorship program, Tap in. Um, what do you want them to do, Krista? DM, DM mentorship. Okay, DM mentorship. All right, so back to it. Oh, she said yes, and 14% off the playbook as well. Okay, Krista. All right, I got you. All right, so I put it out on Instagram and YouTube. So anyway... So yes, community engagement. So you guys tell me some things that you do or you're going to do in your business for community engagement. I want I want to hear some ideas. What are you going to do, Chandra, for community engagement? What are you going to do, uh, CEO? Baby period. What's up, baby period? <laughs> so what are you guys going to do for community engagement? I need some tips. Let's brainstorm. All right. So while we're while we're waiting on people to say, we are going to go to staff recruitment and retention. So things that you what practices are you doing for staff training? It's definitely nice, but I'm here and I want to open my home here. Okay. All right. I got you, Chandra. Chandra, you know how to get a hold of me. When you ready, when you really ready, you know how to get a hold of me. All right. So staff recruitment and retention. That's the next subject. Okay. Go to political. You know what, Jay? That's not a bad idea. I'm going to tell you guys. Getting involved with your with politics in your local area is a great idea. Thank you, Jay, for sharing that. Yes, get involved because a politician in your area can change your situation. You should get involved. You should, uh, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like politics, but I'm going to tell you. Things like joining your chamber of commerce, you know, connecting with 
um, business development in your area. Things like that can give you an in um, before other people in the community know. Volunteering. Right, Jay. Jay's coming up with some good things. What else, you guys? I know somebody out there has an idea. But yeah, volunteer at different places. Like I said, my people volunteer at um, food banks. They volunteer at community centers. Um, there's a community center by one of my group homes where they um, they serve food to the community. And so I have them, well, actually, they like to do it. They go and they volunteer to be like a server. And so that those are the type of things that you could do for community engagement. Hey, official Randall. Hey, Sakoto. Hi, Thomas. So tonight we are talking about things in the uh, 29-day accelerator. Hey, TR Cleaning. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. So, yeah. So, that is, I'm talking with co-workers that happen to be in recovery to help my sober living group home. Awesome. So, co-workers of yours that happen to be in recovery. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I am not your toy. Yes. So another thing is, that's very, very important, is financial management and budgeting. Financial management and budgeting. That is something that is very, very detrimental to your group home business. You're going to have to do some financial managing and you're going to have to budget. And I always encourage that you guys budget um, budget for your personal and your business. Hello, my wife and I have been watching you from Detroit. Thank you for all you do. Well, you're welcome, Official Randall. I appreciate that. Thank you to you and your wife for watching. From the Super Bowl to Oklahoma City to Winning Wednesday. <laughs> Shronica, you know I be working. <laughs> what Neo say? Don't let nobody outwork you. <laughs> Woo, y'all. And y'all know, look, I'm still recovering from that, them few days, uh, the pregame and all of that. The Super Bowl, I'm still recovering. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was tired, y'all, but it is Valentine's Day, and I had to spend it with y'all. Hey, Olive. Oh, oh, love. Hey, M2 Sharp. Hey, Peace. So, yeah. So, who has a budget for their home, and who has created a budget for their business? Show me in the chat. Who lives by a budget in their home and who has a budget for their business? Okay. I, I have a budget. I have a personal budget. Now I'm a, I'm gonna tell y'all, I, I kind of go, them, that Super Bowl wasn't in my budget, <laughs> but because I budget all the time, I can do little things like that. That wasn't a little thing. It was a big thing. But I'm saying, if you live by a budget, you have, you know, it, it tells your money where to go. So I am not your toy says me. Okay. Mega Graham has a budget. Hey, Big Hef. Who else? Who has a budget on YouTube that they go by for their personal or their business? Because financial management is very important, especially if you are someone that is getting government funds. You are going to know, you're going to have to know where that money goes. If you're getting like Medicaid, Medicare, if you're getting grants and things like that, you are going to have to keep track of where that money goes. Because what you don't want to do is get out of it and you can't tell them where that money went. Okay? 
All right, Taylor says she has a budget. Big Hef said, I need a budget. I'm all over the place. All right. <laughs> you got to reel it in, Big Hef. You got to reel it in. You got to have a budget, especially if you're planning on having a business. You're going to have to have a budget because you need to know what you're bringing in and what you're bringing out. And what do I always say? If you make a million dollars and you spend a million and one dollars, you broke. <laughs> okay you're broke so yes we need to bu budget tr says i have a budget great baby period says i need help with budgeting all right yes we need to budget i need a budget hell i'm tired of the irs <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of the IRS too, babe. <laughs> I am. That's why it's always great when you start making decent money to have a tax strategist because they will tell you how to avoid paying the IRS. Okay. I'm working on it. I'm working. I still be cutting them checks. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm working on it. Big Health said, I own a little real estate, a restaurant, and a transportation company, and I think that's the problem. So much money coming in. I don't know how to spend it correctly. I'm very thankful, though. That's good. But the thing is, okay, you got real estate. That's one. You got a restaurant and a transportation company, and you're personal. You need four budgets. <laughs> you need to have a budget for every, because that's another mistake that we make is people mix and mingle businesses and money and things like that. You need to have something separate for each. I actually have a, um, a budget for each home, even though it's under the same business, but my different businesses. I treat separately. So one business may be profitable and another business I have may not be. <laughs> so I keep it separate. <laughs> and I just, and I treat them like they totally separate entities. So people be like, but you making all this money in the group home. Yeah, but this business ain't making me no money yet. So guess what? I can't take group home money and put it over here. You got to keep things separate. Just like I do partnerships, you know, if I got a partnership and that partnership is, is in the negative, I'm not pulling money out of this over here to put it over here. No, we don't mix and mingle. So that's why it's important to have a budget for each thing that your personal budget and a budget for each business. Yeah, so that's another topic that we covered. Money, financial management and budgeting, okay? Cost control, all of that. All you guys need is a simple budget. A simple budget will help you. Just knowing what you bring in every month and knowing what you have to pay. And then you could have a, a line for, um, what did we used to do? Uh, me and my husband used to have blow money and, and we agreed on how much blow money we each should have, you know, when we was together and it was like, I told him, I don't care if you take the money in the backyard and set it on fire. It's you could throw it out the car window. I don't care because your blow money was your blow money and you could blow it. So that's kind of how you got to, you could just have a simple budget and then put a line for blow and, and spend it on whatever. But you need a budget. You see that? Look, my phone doing this little thing. All right. So legal compliance and ethics. You need to be compliant when you have a group home. You need to be compliant with your local, uh, you know, regulators. You need to be compliant with your state regulators. And of course, you need to be compliant with federal. You need to be in compliance. So you need to be thinking about that. 
you need to stay informed also with the regulations because they do change and it is hard keeping up with it, but you have to do it. And if you're a licensed group home, they may come out to your house, you know, for your yearly survey. And you like, well, I didn't know that. They don't care. You better know it. You better have some type of way of staying updated. It's always good to get on an email list um, with your regulatory agency. So when things do happen, you get an email. But you also need to be checking up. Because it's really, honestly, not their responsibility to tell you every time something, you know, they're supposed to put it out, but it's not their responsibility to tell you specifically, hey, there's a new uh, regulation. No, they don't do that. So you need to stay up on that. And that is something that we did, um, you know, go over. Um, measuring success and quality improvements. So you need to have different things, different tools where you can measure your success. I call them KPIs, key performance indicators. I have a list of key performance indicators that I keep track of, not just because, you know, uh, just because, <laughs> that's what I meant to say, not just because, but because it is good to look back to see your growth is good to keep track, especially if you're a nonprofit. You really need to have key performance indicators because when you go to get grants or you go to get, you know, government money, they want to know, well, what you've been doing. So you need to keep track of that. Right? Hey, Tamika. Hey, Paint Bear. Okay. So those are the type of things that you need to be, um, keeping track of. Those are the type of things that you need to be thinking about as you're starting your group home business. How many of you have did a SWOT analysis? Does anybody know what that is? S-W-O-T, SWOT. How many of you have did a SWOT analysis? Those of you who want to be a group homeowner or um, want to have a business, Go ahead and share in the chat. Throw in some pink hearts if you have did a SWOT analysis on yourself and your team. Dolly Mama said she has. Good deal. All right. So P said no. P said no, he hasn't. Pay Bear said no. Okay. Anybody else? Has anybody else? Have you guys heard of SWOT analysis? S-W-O-T. How many of you have heard of that? Baby period said no. Anybody else? God chose me. Said no. Oh, TR, you never heard of it? I'm surprised. Okay, so a SWOT, an SWOT analysis stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, okay? I just feel like any business owner, if you have not heard of it, S-W-O-T, analysis. Do this. Do that analysis. I did it way back before I even started my um, business, like my first business. Um, it's just a good thing to do for you and your partners, you and your teammates or you and your team, whoever do the SWOT analysis because it assesses the four aspects of your business. It's going to, it's a tool that helps you to analyze what your company does best now and to devise a successful strategy for the future. So it helps you to establish what your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities and your threats are. And it and I I feel like there are millions of people that have did a, this analysis. I really feel like when I did it, 
back then. And then when I did it eight years ago, it was really accurate. Like for real. So if you haven't did it, like within the next week or so, try it. Pull up the SWOT analysis. I really think um, mm, there's somebody that has it. Let me try to see if I could look up where it's free for you to take it. But I think there's a few places where you can um, you could take it for free. Mm. Oh, what's his name? It was a uh, um, it's a speaker. Oh God, I can't think of his name right now. I've done that, but I didn't call it that. Oh, okay, okay. I was like Tr. I I don't know. For some reason, I just got that vibe like you had did that. Hey, Dana. But yeah, if you guys haven't did it, just to me, it helps with strategic planning, strategic management. It helps with all of that. Narda said, yes, I did one. Strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Yes, it's in my business plan. Okay, awesome. So somebody has done it. Yeah, so if you guys, I just suggest, you know, if you haven't done that, I normally uh, suggest that with my mentees, um, that they do a SWOT analysis. I really think that um, I feel like it was accurate when I did it. Uh, I've did it a couple of times. I think even when I did sales at Wells Fargo, that they had me do it too. So I would just suggest that you guys do it. And then if any of you guys are looking for, um, I know some of you said that you don't have a budget and I would just Google simple budget, like really. But I really feel like everybody should have some type of budget. And there are plenty of simple nerd wallet has a free budget planner worksheet um i'm looking on here there's one that i really like it's called f fnbc or something like that i really like that budget that budget plan and you can get it online where it'll tie into your bank accounts and stuff like that and it'll automatically pull stuff in for you but yeah Y'all need a budget because like I said, especially if you're planning on having some type of group home that um, some, actually some applications, um, Virginia, I know for instance, you have to turn in a budget to have a group home. So yeah, you guys, that's something that you need to have and especially in this type of business. Because some agencies require you to have um, a budget. They require you to have reserves. They require different things. So if you're interested in doing a group home, you definitely need to be working on some type of budget. If you have a nonprofit and you're thinking about raising money or whatever or applying for a grant, you definitely need a budget. Because most grants want to see a budget. I don't know if y'all know that. All right. So I ain't see too many questions in the comments today. I don't think I saw too many. But um, but I'm here for it. If you guys um have anything you want to ask. I am, like I said, Krista posted in here. We're doing a Valentine's Day special, uh, a thousand off um, the one year mentorship, 500 off the 90 day mentorship. My team really like y'all because I wasn't planning on doing all that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> and so um, make sure if you guys are on YouTube, make sure you like this video. If you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Y'all see me down there in the yellow telling you guys, 
I don't know who that is, but somebody on my team is on there. My team is serious. They serious, y'all. But yeah. So um, thank you for that because VA is where I am opening opening Virginia is where oh yeah well Dolly, Dolly Mama you're going to need um Virginia is 90 day of reserves of whatever you say your budget is so you're going to have to have 90 days of whatever your budget is in the bank sitting when you go through the application process so just make sure that um you start working on a budget Yes, ma'am. Hey, Dr. Desi, ready to kick off marketing with you. All right, Mega Graham. Yes, I look, I heard <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> they let me know. So, yes, we will be kicking off your marketing plan. Uh, as of uh, look, I just got home today. Give me tonight, then tomorrow. I'm all yours. <laughs> but yeah, they just let me know yesterday. And I was like, I think that's Mega Graham. <laughs> y'all know I know y'all by y'all real name and y'all Instagram names. <laughs> hey, elite athletes. What you mean, yikes? Why you say yikes? Why you say yikes? You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, right? <laughs> What's the yikes for? Tell me. Hey, Felice. Markeisha said, what about Kentucky? Uh, I'm not sure, Markeisha. I'm just pulling information on because Virginia is fresh in my mind because I'm working with somebody in Virginia. And so I just pulled that out of my head. I will have to look. I will have to check on Kentucky. So you in Kentucky, all right. <laughs> Do you know something about Ohio? Something like what, Peace? Something like what? What you looking for in Ohio? I may know a little something, something about. Yes, you heard right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know how it is, oh, Mega Graham. They be letting me chill until a ching ching come through. Then they be like, uh, you got to get to work. <laughs> Let's see. Do you know if North Carolina is accepting applications to start behavior health group homes? I hear so many different things. North Carolina, I haven't heard anything recently. Um, oh, North Carolina. What's the last thing I heard about them? Oh, I can't remember. It was something about CARF. Mm, I can't remember. I'm sorry, baby, period. I can't. Peace. Do you know something about Ohio budgeting? Um, Ohio, not so much unless you're looking for like grants or something like that. But Ohio, no, not so much. If you're thinking about doing like uh, sober living or behavioral health or assisted living, no. I mean, you should, like I said, you should have a budget, but I don't think it's a requirement. Yeah. So, yeah. If you know someone with the funds, are you allowed to use their money to sit in your account? Laugh out loud. My grandma might have a little change. <laughs> hey, get it in there. Get just have it in there before you um I always tell people have access to. So whether that's your grandma money under her mattress or a line of credit or whatever it is, yes, get it in there. So, yes, you can definitely do all things through Christ. Yikes on the three months of your budget in the bank can be very hefty if I remember correctly. Yeah, but I mean. Honestly, there are states now where you have to have $150,000 in reserves. So a three-month budget ain't bad. When you coming up on somebody talking about you got to have $150,000 just to open a group home, that right there is a barrier. Three months ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you can, elite athletes. You can. Hey, nurse girls. 
Let's see. Oh, you're welcome, peace. <laughs> but no, I mean, it just depends on the state. There are some states you don't have to have any reserve, but then there are states where you have to have three months, six months. Um, like I said, the the highest amount I know of is 150000 Uh, It's just going to depend. But they want to see that money in the bank or they want to know you have access to it, you know? Agree with three months with, uh, that's right. Yeah, I'd rather have three months than 150. <laughs> they have to have 150. Now, Arizona is one of them states, you really, I always tell people, you still want to have access to, but you really don't have to have any money in the bank. You really don't. And my thing is, I mean, Arizona is going through a lot of changes. So who knows? That may change. Um, but trust and believe. If I had to have 100000 when I started, I wouldn't have got started. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. I probably would have figured it out. Y'all know me. I would have flashed the smile at somebody and be like, hey, can I get 100000 <laughs> Oh, man. If you want it bad enough, be willing to relocate. Yeah, that's true. If you want a house bad enough and you can't do it in your state, I know plenty of people that have went to a different state to open a group home. I mean, heck, I moved. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. I moved to Arizona. Did not know in my mind that I would have a group home, but, you know, I did. I got it. You would figure it out. Yeah, you look, you know me. I would have figured it out. I would have got that money. All right, so make sure you guys on YouTube, make sure you guys like the video. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Y'all know we have the work series. Work series is next week. It's Friday and Saturday, the 23rd and the 24th. I did not even realize that it was coming up that quick. I kid you not. I was like, oh my God. Me and Shronica was in Oklahoma and she was like, yeah, next week. I said, what? Next week? It's next week. If y'all haven't got y'all tickets, you better get them. <laughs> next Friday and Saturday is the work series. It's in Arizona. It's still in the early bird. So if you have not got your tickets, you still have time. Nurse girl, wow, that time went by so quick for the, didn't it? That's what I said. It's next week. That's crazy. I'm like, oh my God, there was so much that I wanted to do, but I was too busy at the Super Bowl. <laughs> yes. Is using sub to financing legal to purchase a home for stabilized SMI adults? Uh, I am not, uh, I guess, uh, I'm not uh, the person to talk to in regards to financing or anything like that on a group home. Uh, I do have an agency, Dolly Mama, if you hit me up. I can send you information on an agency that I know that um, that does that, but I don't try to get involved in home purchases, none of that. I, I'm telling y'all, 2024, I'm staying in my lane. Y'all know I was all over the place last year. This year, I'm staying in my lane. I only work with setting up, mentoring, um, that type of thing training, stuff like that. That's all I want to do. Because y'all will have me out here going crazy. <laughs> nah. Nah, that's cool. Hey, Louis. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can I have the info for the agency also, please? No, Taylor. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> Taylor's one of my mentees, you guys. I'm just being funny with her, trying to come in here as T and throw me off. 
You trying to take all my little tax dollars. <laughs> Jay, I am not trying to take your tax dollars. I am trying to get you to utilize your tax dollars so you get a return from them, okay? You come to the work series, you are investing your tax dollars because you will get a return, all right? So no, I'm trying to I'm trying to make y'all be smart with y'all tax money. That's what I'm trying to do. Come to the work series. We got the work series going on. Uh, my stuff is on sale today till midnight. Tomorrow, I'm rolling out the licensed professional training that everybody's been asking me about. It will start in March. Okay, so I will be, y'all be looking out for the post about the licensed professional. This is only for licensed professionals, nurses, nurse practitioners, licensed social workers, people like that, licensed uh, mental health workers, people like that, uh, doctors, whoever, but you have to um, be licensed. So I will start posting for that tomorrow. I wanted to wait until after Valentine's Day since my team said I needed to show some love. They done came up with these discounts. <laughs> so if you planning on getting into the mentorship, like I said, it's a thousand off today till midnight, $500 off um, the 90 day. And I think they said something about 14% off the master class and the playbook. All right. Is the license program for four weeks? Yes, ma'am. Remember, it's every Tuesday for four weeks. It is four trainings and it was full of information. Nurse Gross, didn't you take the training before? I can't remember. I think you were in the last one, weren't you? I believe you were. I'm not sure. So when it comes to picking a name for your group home, is there any words or names not to use if that makes sense? I just tell people when I give advice on picking a group home name, pick something that people can pronounce. Because some people be naming their businesses their name, like their last name. It's all fine and dandy you know, until people don't know how to say your name, so they not calling you. If your group home name is Abadubasabadibia, you know what I'm saying, or something crazy, people can't pronounce that. So I just always suggest a name that people can pronounce. The name of my group home organization is Best Care. You know why? Because we give the best care. So just think of something that can roll off of people's names that will stay in people's minds, that type of thing, okay? Peace is a really good, I mean, like peace aloud. I see the name is Peace Alote. Do something, you know, if you want to use your name, Peace and, and, and Tranquility Group Home or something like that, or Peace and Tranquility Residential Care Home. Don't use Group Home. I suggest don't use Group Home. Use something like, uh, um, you know, Premium Residential. That's Megagram. Yes, because he's premium. Okay, so think of names that will roll off of your people's tongue, that will stay in people's mind, and that don't have like group home in it. Mine's is best care behavioral homes. I did homes with the S on the end because my, I, my, in my mind was I'm not stopping at one. So that's why from the get go, I had a S on the end. So you just have to decide, Day Marche, what you want the name to be, but just make sure it's something easy that case managers can say easily. How many do I have? A few. <laughs> Jay, you must have been, been following me for, for that long. No, not less. Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay. 
is the license program for okay i didn't know i thought you went through it well nurse you nurse girls you done been through so much of my stuff i forget laugh out loud you funny about the selection of names i'm just saying some people be naming um and and nothing against the african culture but i've had i've like um work with people that are um from africa and they use like their last name as their business name and i was like you shouldn't do that because everybody can't pronounce that you know and then you just want to make it easier and then people i feel like when they see that name they're like mm, they african you get what i'm saying and it it might bring up bias so that's just from my point of view and my experience, okay? So that's why I say don't do that. Think of something else. LML. I don't know what LML means, Dolly Mama. <laughs> um, T said 10, laugh out loud. Uh, I was like, Jay must not been following me for a while. I just started and I'm super intrigued. Laugh out loud. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's okay. I was just messing with you. It's all right. I love new new uh, followers. I love um, coming, to, you know, new people coming across me. So don't feel bad at all. You are right. I am from West Africa. Yeah. And I've and I'm telling you, I've had some Africans, um, and like I said, nothing against Africans. I got people in my family. My people married Africans, so I have nothing against them. But when you're doing business, you don't want to have a name that people can't say. Now, if you if your most Africans names mean something, if you want to use the meaning, like one of my nieces, her name is Adanu Ad. Atanuke. Well, I wouldn't recommend using Atanuke as your business name, but whatever the meaning is of Atanuke, I can't remember what her name means right now, but whatever that is, then you might want to use that. So yeah. Uh, agreed as a closet Nigerian <laughs> laughing maid. <laughs> you a closet Nigerian. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So, yeah, so that's just, like I said, that's just my recommendation. So let me go over everything while we finishing up. Um, I think I answered everybody's questions. So, like I said, work series is next week, you guys. I'm still tripping off of that. Work series is next week. I got to get on the ball because y'all know I've been out of town. I got stuff to do because I'm hosting. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to get on the ball. So, work series is next week. If you had not secured your ticket, go to workseries.com, secure your ticket. Um, also, um, my team is doing a sale today. If you are interested in mentorship today till midnight, it's a thousand off the one year. Up, oh, Instagram's gone. It's a thousand off the one year. It's five hundred dollars off the the ninety day mentorship, and then also two, um, we have licensed professional. Look out for that because we will be posting for that tomorrow. Um, could not do the Valentine's Day um sale on that because that is like four trainings very intense trainings four days four licensed professionals and so that will um we will start posting for that tomorrow and i think that's it you guys now we do have other work series i'm just pushing for um next week because we have a couple of seats left um to fill i think we have two so if anybody wants to go, make sure you guys get your tickets, you know, at least by this weekend. I would say get them today, but get them by this weekend because um, it is next week and it's going to be awesome. All right. So that is it. I appreciate you guys tapping in here with me. I'm 
telling you, I got off that plane, grabbed my bags, and I ran home because I wanted to spend quality time with you guys today on Valentine's Day. I really did. Laugh out loud. I should have known not to be on Instagram. I, I keep telling people, Instagram will cut off on you. It just cut off. So, yeah. But you know where to find me, Sandra. But all right, you guys. I appreciate you. I'm sending you all the love for Valentine's Day. Make sure if you have not liked this video, I only see 10 likes. I see 20 some people on here. Y'all go there, like this video, please. Because my team, they be getting mad at me for not saying it. And I said it multiple times tonight. <laughs> like this video. And if you have, thank you for the two people that just liked it since I said, like this video. <laughs> it went up too. And so like this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you guys, um, you know, if you have questions and things like that, um, you can always book a call, a one hour call. I just did a call with someone today, right before I went to the airport. Um, I missed her call the day before, so I did it today and uh, it was awesome. So we have great calls, me and Esther my licensed um, um, social worker. We do the calls. The majority of the time I am on the calls. And so if you need anything, you can always book a call with me or you can watch my plethora of videos, plethora. All right, you guys. Well, I, like I said, I thank you guys for coming on and enjoy the rest of your evening. Take advantage of the sales and discounts that are going on. And as I always say, be a blessing to someone else. Good night. Good night. <laughs>